In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the powerful SQL functionality that's available in InfoWorks ICM. In front of us, we're looking at a simple model which consists purely of a 2D zone. At the moment, that 2D zone has not been meshed. What we want to do is to actually create three alternative scenarios to the base network that we're currently looking at, and each of those base networks will have a different Mannings value associated with the 2D zone. Now, we could go through and create each of these scenarios manually by using the Create New Scenario function. And clearly, if you're just doing one scenario, that's quick and simple. But if you want to do a number of scenarios, that process can become rather tedious. So instead, what we can do is to use SQLs. And here we have an SQL group with two SQLs created. The first of which is an automated way of creating three additional scenarios. And you can see in the command, it's simply a case of saying add scenario and giving it a name. In this case, Mannings equals one. Then add scenario Mannings equals 0.01. And finally, add scenario Mannings equals 0.5. So those three commands will take the base network that we can see up here at the top of the screen that we're looking at and from that base network create three scenarios. So let's drag the scenario across to here. Nothing particularly changes on our screen, but what we will see is that at the top of the screen here, now in addition to our base network, we have our three additional scenarios. Finally, we need to change the Mannings number associated with each of the networks. At the moment, in our base network, the Mannings value is 0.0125. But what we want to do is to change the Mannings values for each of the different scenarios such that we'll have a different Mannings value for each network. So to do that, we can open up our second scenario here and we can see the command in this one is update in scenario Mannings 1 and set the roughness value to 1, followed by update in scenario Mannings 0.01 and set the value to 0.01. And then finally, update in scenario called Mannings n equals 0.5, actually set the value to 0.5. And to do that scenario, again, we just pick it up, drag and drop. And now, to test that that has worked OK, simply select any of our particular scenarios, let's say this one here, Mannings 0.01, and then use the information tool, look in the zone, and sure enough, we have a Mannings value of 0.01. So, that was just a very quick tutorial to show us how we can create scenarios and indeed change values using SQLs to essentially automate the process. And one very final, very clever trick is that if I undo all of my changes, wind all of my changes back to remove everything that I've done, go right back to the very beginning, so now there is just a base network and nothing else, so I've undone all of my options. The very clever trick is to automate not only the individual SQLs, but also to drop them as a group. And if you do that, both the first and the second of those SQLs will be run in sequence. And if I now drop it, it'll warn us that that is what it's going to do. And you can see that I've prefixed each of my two queries with a one and a two. So that defines the order. I press yes. And now it has both created the individual scenarios and for each of the scenarios has actually change the Mannings value to the appropriate value. So that's using SQLs and grouped SQLs in InfoWorks ICM.